Welcome, today we are ranking cleaning tools and supplies. There is not going to be any S plus tier or any F minus tier because yeah. Anyways, why the fuck am I doing this? Well, I search on YouTube, you know, for this exact, you know, tier list and I couldn't find a single video. So I was like, oh what? yeah, it's my time to shine. Anyways, let's start. So the map is used for, you know, the cleaning the floor, you know, and you know, if you didn't know, yeah, it's, you clean the floor with it. Yeah, great. Personally, I like the map because it's, you know, basically like a wig stuck to a stick and that's, that's that. Good there. Now the broom is amazing. Not only you can sweep the floors with it, but you can also remove spider nests from your home with it, especially if they're on the ceiling, you know, not to mention that the broom is also very durable and, you know, it can last for like a long time. Yeah, pretty long. So yeah, that's it about, you know, the, the the broom, and you mean, unless you're, you know, breaking it up against the wall, you know, smacking it up and down or some shit like that, it's gonna last you a long time. It's fantastic. The squee, the squee, I've got no idea how this thing is called. Squeegee. But yeah, apparently it's used to, you know, control the water flow or something like that, you know, I've seen that shit on TikTok, you know, like a year back, and you know, yeah, it's only limited to like hard surfaces, so that's why it's used for window cleaning, you know, mostly, and, um, you know, I haven't really used one personally, but I'll say it's okay. It's Henry the vacuum cleaner. Now, the vacuum cleaner is it's amazing let me just oh just, just they're just completely different all right so they come in different sizes you can suck, suck up you know all the dirt all the freaking you know nooks and crannies you know you can't get you know just it, it's quite amazing you know you can you can suck your rug out of dirt and everything you know the dog took a shit on your rug you know just suck it up with the vacuum cleaner even though your house will probably stink after that but oh no it's god i'm amazing fantastic now the sponge it's amazing for cleaning dishes and soaking up water. Eh, who would have thought? Personally, I tend to find the rough side of the sponge better than the soft one, just because, you know, you can unlock a whole different level of cleaning. Like, uh, you can just, you know, clean, you know, ovens, you know, scrub, em, scrub ovens, get rid of grease, and so on, you know. So my downside is that, you know, there are way better alternatives to everything um, that I just said. Like, I don't know, you can get some, like, cleaning rags or something like that and use them instead. That's that. Yeah, if you're talking about just cleaning dishes and, you know, I have to say, you know, eh, eh, I guess it's good. Yeah, it's good. Now, I said previously, you know, cloths are better than sponges in some case. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Now, they're really useful. They can be used, you know, just clean kitchen counters, everything like that. They absorb water nicely and, you know, get rid of dusty surfaces if you, you know, like them too, of course. And you can use them to clean your car too, I guess. The inside of it, at least. Yeah, I'm no expert in car cleaning, so that's that. I just clean computers and that, that's what I like to do. Yeah, that's that. Anyways. They're good. Yes, you heard it right, just a spray bottle, no fluids, no nothing, just air in it. Up until the point you decide to pour something in it, then it becomes very, way more usable. Now you can pretty much fill these bottles with almost anything you like, you know, water, chemicals, I've got no idea, I mean, if, it, if there's liquid in it, it's probably more useful than it would be if it was empty. Great. Not to mention that these bottles usually have like toggle modes like spray, continuous spray, and you, you know, you get the point, you know, just amazing. And you know, they're all now, they're fantastic bottles. And you know, make sure to fill them with something too. Now a feather duster is probably something you'll probably, you know, see, you know, in the rich man's home. There'll probably be a maid or something, you know, cleaning everything, as at least that's what I see in movies, you know. You know, cleaning everything, their point of no destruction, you know, just beyond recognition, you know absolutely few bar and you know I don't really you know get the point of the feather duster because you kind of dust off everything I know it's used for like paintings or something but why why in the hell why the hell do you want to brush off the dust then you have to pick it up again with a broom see broom amazing just use the broom god damn it or use even you know, like white wet paper towels you know to clean the top of like a fucking shelf or something yeah shit tier Compressed air. There, there's just nothing to talk about. Like, if it wasn't for compressed air, I would have still used toothpicks to clean my charging port from all the cockroaches living inside of it. 
that's how useful it is. Not to mention, you can use it to clean electronics, just be safe with it, because, you know, if you use it in a shitty angle, yeah, the... Now, this is the stuff doctors tell you to never put in your rear, and I mean, they are right, and they are like, um, you know, they're meant to, you know, clean the outside of your rear and everything, but you know, but I'm not doctor, you know, that's all I can say, don't clean your goddamn ear canal or something, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I use them to clean my computer keyboard and almost anything that has had to have, you know, just tweaking that has to do with, like, electronics and, you know, hard places to reach. Uh, anyways, yeah, just anything, you know, that you can't reach, Qtube is great, except when it, you know, you clean the keyboard, you know, just go in a straight line. And, you know, what is left usually is a Q-tip that is, uh, well, longer than the observable universe itself. And, you know, it's left some cotton on your keyboard, so... Well, that's the shit part. But, yeah. I don't know. I'm not to say. It's an okay. The toilet brush. Now, I'm going to put this in the mech there, you know, right away because I've never really understood how they work, but I do give them credit for taking on, you know, all of our shit in our toilet, you know, because then we will have to use our hands to clean it, so... Salute, salute to the toilet brush, guys. Salute. Now, it's funny to think that they're meant for, you know, toothpicking, yet I have never actually used them for that. In fact, I've used toothpicks, you know, get between, you know, small gaps, so my mouse mostly, and also to deep clean my PlayStation 3. Yes, I still have a PlayStation 3, deal with it. Because you see, you know, toothpicks have a, like a pointy end to them, which means, you know, getting like in a 0.1mm gap is like clockwork for them. So, man, I just love toothpicks. Good tier. This is just, this, is, this just goes straight to the top, you know, we have like five things in the top tier already, but you know, uh, why does it go to the, you know, the, the top, toppy top, basically, it's very universal, you know, you can use it to clean surfaces, clean spells on the floor, you know, you can wipe your mouth with them after you're done eating, if you like that, I guess, um, you can clean computers even, it, it, you know, if they use, if you use them correctly, don't just freaking apply like a glass of water and just brush your PC, that, first of all, do not, do not apply water. So wet wipes for me are like paper towels but with water added to them, so they're pretty basic. But if it's a wet wipe with some chemicals added, then we are talking. You can use them to clean sinks, clean cars, clean dust off your dirty gaming setup. You can use them for almost anything, man. Though the one downside is that you may get dizzy if you clean with them for like 4 hours straight or something like that because, you know, your hands would, you know, also become kind of freaking alcoholic. I don't know, they'll, they'll probably just smell like vodka. Because that, that makes sense, you know, because, you know, the alcohol affects brain and, you know, wet pipes have like little bit of alcohol, you know, and it just adds up. Yeah, 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 it's, it's good. Good, good tier. Now, why in the hell would you need an air refreshing? Just, just think about it. Why, why would you need it, you know? Technically, I mean, it makes your house smell good, you know, if you just... Just do the thing, you know, just shake it and just spray it everywhere, you know, it makes your house smell good. Other people don't, you know, smell your stinky armpits, you know. But think about it. Even if it's like minus 40 degrees outside. You know, I think I'd rather open the window for like at least a minute, you know, let the air, you know, circulation work, you know. So it just my room gets cleared that way, you know, not just apply a freaking air refresher or something like that. Because, because, I mean... Who cares about an air refreshener if you have, like, fucking air outside, I guess? Who, who cares about an air refreshener? Uh, shit, well, I guess a lot of people actually do. Um, well, now I feel like an idiot, so, um... I'll, I'll gi I guess I'll, gi I'll give it a mech tier because of, you know, nice smells they give. Well, to finish it off, um, let's talk about the amazing window cleaner fluid. Oh, it's really quite amazing, you know, it's so amazing, in fact, I have really nothing to say about it. Other than that, it's used to, you know, clean windows. Personally, I never had any issues with using it, so it's good tier. And that concludes my cleaning tool tier list, so if you want to talk about cleaning and stuff, go to the comment section, I guess. You know, I guess like and subscribe or else nothing will happen. Well, I'm so honest, that's so nice. Anyways, I'm gonna go make tea, so, uh... In the meanwhile, I mean, you can you can watch this video, I guess, you know. I'm doing the thing, you know, at the end of the freaking video, I just uh, do the thing, pop up more videos, ha, click, ha, views, ha, great. 
Ah, I should just shut up. E.